What is going on lads and welcome back to another episode in the Norwich Cream mode. Now in the last episode you did see that we did get the win against QPR. If you did miss that episode, go back and watch it. It was a good episode. We've been offered the Wales job for some reason. I'm never going to take that. Um, and a monthly scouting update. Not going to look at that for now. What I will do though is I'm going to show you my training that I've been doing on the players. I have been forgetting to do it to be fair. So I, that's something that I need to remember to keep doing. If I load the previous session, these are the players that I do it with. Buendia, Tonali, Godfrey, Barak and Lewis. Simulate all and see if it has any sort of effect on any of the players. Barak actually has gone up a rating to 69, so that's always useful. And that's all I'm going to do before the next game. So let's see who we are playing next. So it does actually look like we are playing Wigan next in the Championship. We are at home as well, so hopefully it's another opportunity for three points. We're going to get straight into this game and see if everyone is fit to play. We'll, yeah, we're going to use our strongest team, so that's our starting team at the moment. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give Alex Bono another chance. Now, this could be very, very costly, but I'm feeling generous. We're going to let Bono go back in there. Obviously, we didn't have very good games at the start of the season. He conceded four in the first game. I think it was Bono in goal then anyway, but without further ado, let's get into the first game of this episode against Wigan. It is the only game as well. I don't know why I said that, but we're versing Wigan. Let's do this. Come on, boys. So here we are, the weather is absolutely miserable. Let's not hope for a miserable result. We're going to dive straight into this and we're going to start off with Pucky on the ball who plays it straight back to Croissants. Croissants now plays it down wide to Steepman. Into Tonali. No, nope, it's not into Tonali. Good start from the boys. Close has got the ball. Gives it out to Croissants. Can we get a break from this? He's going to wait for the run. He sees the run. It's Buendia. It's a fantastic ball. What can Buendia do from this position? He's already got four, uh, three in his last couple of games. It's a bad shot. What is? What has just happened? That was a shot. You saw how soft that shot was. Pucky got a chance and it's a good save from Wigan's keeper. Teddy plays it in. Pucky's made a run. It's a good run as well. He cuts back inside, he finesses with his right, and it is 1-0 to Norwich. It's Pucky again, that's two goals in two games for him, consecutive games as well. He's going to run to that corner flag and open his arms like a lion. Don't have a clue why I just said that, to be honest. But we're 1-0 up against Wigan, it's a fantastic goal as well from Team U Pucky. Let's keep this momentum up, see if we can get six points in two games, that would be absolutely amazing. Statement of Tonali. Tonali plays it. Over to Tetty. Tetty's darting forward. It's a good run from Alexander Tetty. Cuts back inside. He finesses. What is happening with finesses in this game? Am I missing something? Wendy and out. He's waiting for the overlapping run. He gets it, but he can't get a through ball. It's well played, though. Well held off. Pucky's got the ball. Plays it into Buendia. Buendia sees the run of Croissant. He cuts back. Oh. It's a good effort, it's deflected and straight in the keeper's arms. Hernandez gives it into Croissants to Tonali. Croissants is still making that run. He sees Pucky, can he get his second of the game? He has a shot and it's well saved by Walton. Can we get a goal from a corner? I don't think we scored from a corner yet. Ball's with Dinner to Steepman. Ah, come on. What can Barak do from this position? Has he got a good whip on him? It's Buendia! Teddy needs to close down Massey here. Cannot let a cross go in because Will Grigg is quite prolific. Powell's got the ball now. Will Grigg is in the box. So if he gets the ball in, it could be dangerous. It is a dangerous ball. Bono needs to deal with it, but it's well... Well, it's not even well pressured, to be fair. He just absolutely blew his opportunity. Still one that it looks like it's going to go one at half time. Can we get one last attack? Tonali's got the ball now. He doesn't. He's just lost it. Tonali. Teddy. It's going to go half time 1 0 to Norwich against Wigan at Carroll Road. So I think we've deserved this win so far. It was a good goal by Team New Pucky. Let's have a look. If we look at the match facts, yeah, we've absolutely smashed Wigan here. I tell you what's letting us down is our shots on target. If you look through all the episodes, we've had a lot of shots but hardly anything on target. Now that might be down to my finishing, but it might also be down to my attacker's finishing. So, with that being said, our transfer window in January, I'm going to be looking at strikers to sign. So, if you've got any ideas, then drop them in the comments below and I will read them all. With that being said, let's get straight into the second half where we are 1-0 up at Carroll Road against Wigan. Hernandez. It's well played. He works his way inside. 
Tetley sees Tonali on the outside and run. He shoots and it's just wide of the post. It's good effort from Tonali. It's a lot better. He's playing a lot better, to be fair, quite recently. He plays it to Nick Powell. Nick Powell's on the side. He whips it in. It's a good whip, but it's not quite good enough. It's well defended by Norwich. Now Buendia's on the attack. He's got the run of Pucky. He uses that run. Can Pucky get there first? He can't, but he wins it. It's Team U Pucky for his second of the game, and he gets his second of the game. It's 2-0 to Norwich against Wigan. Come on! Fantastic goal from Team U Pucky. He battled to get that ball back. I think it was off Dunkley. And he fires it in the bottom left-hand corner. And with that being said, we're going to put Quessons off and bring on Mur Oh, no, we're not, because he just didn't let me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it and just do that substitute myself because Quessons is getting quite tired. Lightning can come on. Um, Marshall's going to come on for Hernandez, and that will be all the changes in the 60th minute. Nick Powell's got the ball now. Gives it to Garner. Nick Powell. Oh, it's a good save from Bono. He's trying to make up for his bad start to the season. It's kept in as well by Norwich. All right, Barak, what can we do? What can we do for me here? Are you going to start an attack? Gives it off to Lewis. It's a bad ball, but it's lucky. It's a touch by a Wigan player. It goes straight to Moritz Leitner. He's got, obviously, some fresh legs, so he's managing to outrun some players. He plays it in. Team you pucky for his hat-trick. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, that could have been the first hat-trick of the season. <sighs> Team you pucky starting to... Get a bit more dangerous for me, and I'm starting to like it a bit. We've got a corner now. When Deer whips it in, it's Barak. Alex Teddy can't do anything with the ball there. To Silva Lopez, he's absolutely bullied him. Teddy's won the ball back. Here we go. It's Morris Leitner. It is 3-0. That is a fantastic goal. It's another assist for Team U Pucky. Has two in two games. It's a fantastic goal by Norwich. Teddy absolutely bullied De Lopez there, and I just feel sorry for the kid. Um, a brilliant goal, Teddy. Pucky with a back heel, and Moritz Leitner just fires it past Walton, and it's 3 0. It is 3 0. I never thought we'd ever see that scoreline in favour of us. Pucky's absolutely hacked, and that is disgusting. Get that man off. Gives him a yellow card. It's Dan Burn. Aaron's comes on for Steepman. What can we do from this? I see Tonali up there on his own. Well, he's not on his own, but he might as well be. All right, well, Lewis, no, no, keep a clean sheet, Bono, yes, good man. No, keep a clean sheet, please. No, I did not just help myself. I just wanted the clean sheet. Now, obviously, I'm really happy because we're winning. I literally was like, yeah, keep the clean sheet. And then I just passed the ball straight back to their striker. And De Silva Lopez makes up for being bullied by Alexander Tetti earlier and makes it 3 1. Uh, it's not even another attack. 3 1's a final score. It's a decent result for us. We get another three points on the board. It's definitely deserved. Team U Pucky has been having a few good games and I'm hoping he keeps that run up. We had 18 shots at the in the end. Team U Pucky gets a 9.4 rating. Now let's see where we are in the league table and see if we've improved upon where we were last time. So we are sitting 15th, one point behind Aston Villa. If we have a look at the top scorers, Teddy's still up there. Vyman's got eight goals, so that's decent to be fair. Let's have a look actually who is sitting up top. I think it was West Brom last time we checked. Um, let's see if it's still West Brom. It is still West Brom. They're on 23 points, only losing one game. Leeds and Borough, the only two teams to only lose one game. Um, so we're actually only... How many points are we away? We're four points away from sixth. So, although we've had such an awful start to the season, we're only actually four points away from sixth. They've obviously got a game in hand as well, but we can make some sort of comeback this season. With all that being said, boys, that is going to be the end of the episode. We did get another win, managed to score three goals. Timmy Pucky is on fire right now. If you did like this video, drop a like and subscribe and be ready for the next episode because we're playing Derby, Frank Lampard's Derby. Let's just hope he doesn't come on and score an absolute screamer against us. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next episode.